Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about the Canon Pro 100 printer. Now this is the printer that I own and I use at home for my prints and I'm very happy with it. It'll set you back about $400 is the suggested retail price, but Canon is constantly offering rebates on this printer. Uh, I got a $300 rebate when I bought mine, so it ended up costing me about $98, $99 plus tax, which was a pretty good price. And it's a very budget-friendly printer once you have it. According to Red River Catalog, it costs about 87 cents to print an 8x10. And based on my experience, that's about what it runs me. It runs me under a dollar per 8x10, and I print quite a bit of stuff here at home. It will print on your thick paper stock and your uh, various art types of papers and things like that. Personally, I haven't used any of those kind of uh, print media, not because the printer won't handle it or because I've done it and I was unhappy with it. I just am very happy with the print service that I use and so I tend to order those kinds of prints directly through them, but this printer will handle it. The printer has built-in Wi-Fi, which is great if you want to put the printer someplace else. If you're like me, you're, you're short on space and you need to have it in a different room, the Wi-Fi capability is great. This printer is huge. It's not your small desk jet printer that'll sit on top of your com computer desk and not take up any space. It's big and it's heavy. It weighs over 40 pounds, so it's kind of a pain to move. But because it is so big, that gives you the ability to print large prints. 13 by 19 is the largest size that it will print, and it's a pretty good print size. And the images are very vibrant. The pictures come out looking great. It uses a dye-based ink system, which gives you very vibrant colors. It gives you, uh, in my opinion, better colors than the pigment um, inks that are out there. Um, I, I am pretty... I'm pretty happy with it. One of the things that I get a lot of requests for, I do a lot of sports photography, is a lot of people want collages printed. And when you do a collage at an 8x10 size, it's kind of small. And so this kind of 13x19 poster size thing, uh, size print, is a very nice size to make a collage. People also like a lot of sports pictures for their man caves and things like that. You know, they want big pictures of their kids. And it's just great to be able to print them. I have people who want pictures done the same day. They want them printed the day that they purchase them. And I'm really, really happy with it. But I've also printed a lot of portrait photos out of this thing, and it comes out great. It has eight ink tanks in it, and three of them are your black and gray colors for your black and white prints, which I think that it does an outstanding job of printing black and white photos. The print speed on the uh, Pro 100 is actually a little bit faster than the more expensive Pro 1 printer. It's a little bit slower than the Epson R2000, but we're talking about a couple of seconds difference between the three different printers. It's not anything significant and it really shouldn't affect which printer you decide to go with. Any of them are going to take about two minutes from start to finish to print an 8x10 from the time you push print until the final product comes out. It's a very quiet printer. Um, it's it's quieter than the uh, Canon office printer that I had before, and obviously it prints much better pictures. Uh, overall, I am very happy with the purchase. I have had no complaints from my customers, and for the standard prints, whenever I just print on luster paper or semi-gloss, to be honest with you, I really can't see a difference between what comes out of this printer and what the print service uh, does for me. Now granted, I'm not an expert in printing. I don't have prints hanging on galleries and museums and they are in art exhibits or anything like that. I, I know that there are people in the world who probably could tell the difference, but I can't. And so I'm pretty happy with it. Now the papers that I tend to use with it, um, Canon gives you with a lot of things that you buy, you get this free photo paper plus glossy too. To be honest with you, I don't like this paper. This is the stuff that you're going to find at your office stores, Walmart, Best Buy. If you want to go in and buy photo paper, this is probably all they're going to have. They might have semi-gloss, but I don't like this paper. And it's not just Canon's version, it's any brand of it because to me it looks cheap and the prints get scratched incredibly easy and I don't like it. Obviously, there are a lot of people who like it or else it wouldn't be sold at every store, but that's my personal preference. 
I prefer uh, Canon's semi-gloss paper. If I want something with the glossy finish, I really like this stuff. It's a little bit more scratch resistant and I just, I, I think it looks better personally. One of the things that I really like printing on is luster paper. Canon makes very good luster paper, but what I actually like a little bit more than Canon's luster paper that isn't too expensive, and forgive me if I'm not saying this right, Feinstra Art Luster Paper. I really like this stuff. I like the way that it prints. Um, it looks great. The images, uh, just they really look nice. And this stuff's about, it, it's a little bit under $20 for 50 sheets. So it's about the same price as the Canon paper. But personally, I think it looks better. Uh, that's just a personal preference thing. So all in all, I think this is a great printer for anybody who either needs to deliver professional quality prints to customers or somebody who just wants to print at home. Yes, there is an initial startup cost, especially if you don't get a big rebate from Canon. But in the long run, especially if you're printing a lot of pictures, it's much cheaper than your all-in-one type of printer having a dedicated photo printer and you have the ability with this to just make really large good looking prints so hopefully that answers your some questions for you guys if anybody has any more questions please leave me a comment below and if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day